Josh started off the month in true King Cobra style, by crossing his arms, pouting, and telling his chat any donations are appreciated during a live stream on July 3rd. Josh made around $211, but ran away with the money to spend on booze and DoorDash. Fans were eagerly awaiting his next tired drink combo, food review, or a 10-part greasy cooking video. I transfer that to my bank. Got a little crazy with the DoorDash orders over the weekend. That's why my uh, bank sh is not where it should be at, but I can take care of it. Shoot on back over to Cash App by the sounds of it, huh? $28, that is definitely fucking where it's at. Well, I do appreciate y'all donating your time, energy, and money to watching Cobra. Don't go and get drunk. I don't have any boost to get drunk on, so what do you do? Cheers, Deathbed Tapes. Yo, guys, have a good night, too. The next day, on top of his regular 4th of July weedly woodling on guitar, Josh posted a quiz on Facebook that his granddad had filled out a few days prior. Josh even biffed it on the first question. On July 8th, Josh shared a link to a Craigslist ad posted by a troll, advertising sensual massage services at Josh's apartment. The ad was quickly removed, however, after Josh sent out a call for his loyal fans to assemble and flag the ad. Feeling stressed? I specialize in sensual massages. I use my magic wand making hands to work out those muscles and relieve your stress. I do house calls, or you can come to my erotic no stress layer. I also have developed my own technique using my bearded dragon Puff and his happy feet. They are nature's vibrator. On July 6th, Josh got $100 to do a Four Loco challenge. He purchased 12 Four Locos and went live two days later to attempt the challenge. Unsurprisingly, he failed getting absolutely blasted after two cans. 12 Four Locos. We got some... <coughs> oh, fucking hell. Excuse me. God damn. Give me a second. Over the next couple of days, he made an additional $272 from fan donations, and of course, blew the money on, you guessed it, DoorDash orders. On July 12th, Josh appeared in his friend Darth Lenny's new update video. It had been speculated that Darth Lenny had been avoiding Josh, like Scotty, as he hadn't been in one of Josh's videos since early 2021. Darth Lenny revealed he had surgery for an appendicitis and was in the hole $4,500 for failure to pay a credit card payment. Smile for the camera, motherfucker. So, speculations was correct. It was uh, chronic appendicitis. Oh, it was taking uh finished taking care of uh debt that i was making payments on then they tried to draw uh so it came back no funds uh, so it terminated the agreement and so they had seized my bank account uh for the remaining amount four thousand five hundred so right now my account's sitting at, at about negative forty five hundred and completely locked up until that's paid off so if you would like to help with that i'll try to get a link to my paypal down below if not it's not your problem you don't have to it's my problem i'll get it figured out it's worth noting that josh was asked by fans to do a donation stream for darth lenny but he declined what a true friend you are josh on july 16th Empire of Dirt, a King Cobra JFS documentary by YouTuber Your Favorite Son, was released on YouTube. The documentary was a sort of video essay on Josh covering numerous topics, like Josh's history and why people watch him. There were, however, a few interesting nuggets that were uncovered, including Josh was kicked out of Albertsons last July and had made some scathing Facebook posts before deleting them. He even made an apology video. What up, YouTube? I would like to extend an apology to uh, the CY Albertsons. 
Now, last night, I got a little bit drunk. I woke up this morning, and you could smell the alcohol on me from last night. And when I went in to get some more from the liquor store, they basically refused to sell to me. So I told them, well, that's fine. I'm going to leave a negative review on the internet. I did, and I have since deleted the post. My trolls are the saddest pieces of shit on the planet. Like, I've never had problems shopping at Albertsons. They've always been super nice, the prices are fair, and the selection is good, you know? However, Josh had actually been banned from Albertsons, and while filming with the crew at the store, the police arrived to inform Josh that he was trespassing. The store manager thankfully chose not to press charges. I called Joe and told him to get back quickly, but the cops were already on to us. You're flagged in our system as being trespassing here. Really? Yeah. We can, we can just have oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know I didn't do anything. I know, but they trespass you at some point. You were you were notified of that trespass. They so if they, they don't want to do anything, then they haven't said anything about it until now. Like that's weird. Okay, I'll look up when you were told. But give me one second, okay? Just hang out. With me. All right, Josh, you're in luck. He doesn't want to pursue criminal charges at this time. He wants me to reiterate to you to your trespass from the yeah. entire parking lot, whole nine yards. I'm sorry, that's not my fault. My YouTube shows are dickheads. Okay. Josh attempted to lie about this video, posted after the documentary was released. It was also confirmed that Josh had in fact been kicked out of the office, bar and grill, on Halloween last year, and after speaking to a police officer, was driven home by his sister, Tiana. It is assumed that Josh is banned from the office too now. Last Halloween I was at a uh, bar, and I filmed a couple of videos to promote the bar, and the trolls found out which bar I was at. So they harassed me at that bar until it, they phone call them and all kinds of dumb shit. That's and then the bar just told me to leave, basically. The cops showed up and they were just like, well, they want to trespass you from the bar. And I explained the situation, who I am, and they didn't even fuck with me after that. They were just like, do you have a gun on you? And I said, yeah, it's fake. You want to see it? No, keep it in your holster. Okay. As soon as I explained the situation... I got a ride home from my sister, and that was the end of it. So now it's become the running joke with that f bite-sized cobra, where he's just like, I'm gonna do like the grossest representation of Josh I possibly can, just to make fun of him. The same day of the documentary, Josh made a video discussing parts of the documentary that he was most unhappy with, including being called dumb, the misspelling of his middle name, and how he was generally portrayed in the documentary. The new documentary aired, I liked the way it was edited, and I appreciated the crew coming out to film. However, there are a couple of things I'd like to politely critique. Being called dumb. I watch Josh because I find him interesting, but I want to see him get better. I would like him to make some upward progress. Even though he's dumb, I don't want him hurt or anything really bad to happen to him. I'm a lot smarter than people give me credit for. And then treating me and filming me as though I'm some arrogant, self-absorbed prick who gets bullied all the time. You misspelled my middle name. They film my TV stand being dusty and they're like, oh god, it's so gross. I will say that Josh's house isn't as dirty as I expected it to be. I wouldn't exactly call it clean, but it definitely isn't the smelly, disgusting pit that a lot of people online seem to think it is. As you can clearly see, it's been dusted. They also seem to think in the new documentary that making videos has become a chore. It almost seems like he doesn't even like doing YouTube anymore. It seems like a chore for him, something he only does when he runs out of alcohol or food. He forces himself to go live or make a video. I disagree. The, the editing was top notch. It was a good documentary. I just don't appreciate being called dumb. Even though he's dumb, the, the gross devil look on his face. Then he had the nerve to say that he dislikes snakes and reptiles and shit. To be honest, I kind of fucking hate lizards, snakes, and all kinds of creatures like that. Then, and then the question I should have asked him is, then why the fuck did you... You didn't have to give me anything, dude. I would not have been grumpy if you didn't show up with booze. You know, I appreciate the mayor of Castle being super chill, and I, I didn't threaten anyone in the parking lot, that's stupid. Someone pulled into the parking lot and he just didn't move out of their way at all. They had to kind of like swerve around him. He then said, and I quote, 
You had the perfect opportunity to run me over and I'd stab you in the throat. Josh also revealed that he was working on his 17th new album titled Sinister Snakes. I'm working on a new album called Sinister Snakes. On July 22nd, Josh went live telling his audience that his bank account was once again in the negative, this time by $150. Donations flooded in, much appreciated, pulling Josh out of the negative and the consequences of his spending habits. In fact, he made an extra $100 on top of that. Only $7.70 in the negative. That's not bad. My account was in the negative earlier, but I didn't care if Puff needed food, so I ordered him some more of his favorite bugs. I don't like it. I can always sell more t-shirts, make a wand, you know. Appreciate all the generosity, man. I didn't even realize. Shit I didn't ask for. People like hearing the shoutouts. Calling me an e-beggar shows that you're jealous that Cobra gets to make money drinking beer on YouTube. What the fuck are you doing with your life? Which it may go on the negative a little bit more after tomorrow because I ordered DoorDash when my account was in the negative. But I wanted to have a good weekend and more importantly, Puff needed food. Dude, if you're driving around in sports cars and you can't pick up no trim, you're fucking need to work on your shit, dude. I got nasty ass fucking teeth and I still pull chicks to watch my videos. It's all about the game, man, and pulling chicks ain't about fucking bitches. You feel me on this, YouTube? Pulling chicks ain't about fucking bitches and getting digits. It's about making an emotional connection. On July 25th, Josh posted a message on his community tab targeting lolcow Chance Wilkins, aka Cyrax. This pointless, manufactured beef was in fact instigated by talentless YouTuber Van Wayward. Get a job. On July 28th, Josh made some more merch for his customized girl. On July 29th, Josh went live to eBeg and respond to some garbage video. Josh said that he was $259.66 in the negative. A fan named Gabrielle had sent Josh $100 for a wand. At the end of the stream, he was still $100 in the hole. Even though he was in the hole, he still had time to go to Angie and Walt's house to drink himself even further into the red. No, my account's in the negative from doing DoorDash food hacks for all my YouTube fans. It is what it is. I need to quit putting my account in the fucking negative to do DoorDash orders for my food hacks. I see it as a business expense and it entertains the fans with my fresh ideas. Gabrielle says, I will send you $100 for that wand to help you get out of the negative. Well, that would be help helpful, yeah, because I am like... You send me your address and I'll get it shipped out to you as quickly as I can. Yeah, negative $259. So that would definitely, and 66 cents, that would definitely help. Gabrielle, thank you for your $100. She writes, this is for the wand. I will send you the address later. Well, I appreciate that for sure. Thank you for your $100, Gabrielle. You drop $200 down, I'll be sure to do a drinking stream. That'll get my account out of the negative. And I'll even turn slow mode off. On July 30th, Josh once again sent out a rallying cry on his community tab, asking for his fans for their aid in reporting a troll selling a parody of his Cobra Craft Ones logo shirt on Etsy. On July 31st, Josh once again went live for yet another e-begging stream. This time, he was $320 in the negative. Once again, he was bailed out by the fans, receiving a total of $381. But yeah, if you want a shout out on the live stream, don't have to cash up or PayPal, I'll give you a shout out. I gotta make some wands. My account is negative 320 bucks. It is what it is. And hey, look at that. My account is officially out of the negative. Sweet. That'll make the first of the month a little bit easier. Appreciate you, cool cobras. You now have $10.70 in your account. That is so definitely what the fuck is up, tubes. Cool, I'll get to keep my Patreon money at the first of the month. So I believe Sinead O'Connor was murdered by the pedophiles for speaking out against them, just like Chester Bennington, 
Bob Saget. Josh also denounced your favorite son's documentary. Tyler Swift, thank you for your 34 cents. Did you see that your favorite son said he could kick your ass on stream and also fuck you? Well, fuck you too. Now, honestly, you said Cobra surprised you how big he was. Mm -hmm. You versus Cobra in a fight. Are you pretty confident or are you you a little worried? I mean, I'm pretty confident. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I also have, you have to, you have to think like I have, best I could assume I probably have at least 30 to 40 pounds on him. Like, yeah, but you don't, you don't have that brute. (laughs) I think you have a point. I think he would go longer than I expect him to go. Yeah. He's like, got that like, brute edge. Yeah. <laughs> I would expect him to be knocked out in the first like round, but I think I think he could probably make it to the second. Like I, I think he would he would go. He would he would be one of those people where he gets wobbled and then he just comes back, you know. He's like, I don't care, you know. He, he he's uh he's got a weird a weird wall there. And but, I wouldn't be surprised if Clint taught him a thing or two. I like to see a little fat fucker try, dude. What the fuck's his deal? You know, like, fuck your favorite son. Seriously, he's a little fat fucking pussy-ass Gen Z piece of shit. I'd like to see him fucking try, dude. Why don't you drive back on down to Casper and see what happens if you feel froggy enough, you little bitch. Why film a documentary about me if you're just going to talk shit? I don't get that. July, like much of 2023, was an underwhelming month for King Cobra content, relying more and more on his audience to bail him out of his financial predicaments. He only went live to eBeg and did not provide any sort of entertainment or interaction. Thankfully, expectations of Josh are also at an all-time low, with his audience being well aware of his habits, whether drinking or quote-unquote reviewing fast food items. Josh's videos now mostly just show the unending cycle of spending, consumption, and inevitably begging. Clint may chastise him when he goes in the negative, but with Josh being able to rely on his fan donations to cover his careless spending, is there really a reason for Josh to change his habits? This begs the question, how long can this continue before Josh digs himself in a hole that his fans can't get him out of? Thank you very much for my members, and of course, my writer of Age Female.